this is Frank Fantini. We are on the floor of G2E, the world's largest gaming show, with Aaron Hightower, who is the president of Nanotech Gaming. You know, the buzzword of the year at uh, G2E and for this industry is skill-based gaming. And Nanotech is a small emerging company, publicly traded, that is immersed in this sector. And as you could probably see by the crowd behind me, it's got, Nanotech is getting a lot of attention at this show. Uh, Aaron, I'm just going to ask you tell us a little background about Nanotech and then a little bit about what your games accomplish. Sure. Um, the background with Nanotech, so our company actually started with the concept behind uh, Video Pinball. So originally we were one company, Nanotech Entertainment. We recently split out to Nanotech Gaming. Nanotech Entertainment split us out for the regulatory process, which we're looking at, looking forward to now. And um, what we've done, though, is we've taken some of our experience and background in coin-operated arcade entertainment-only experience and leveraged those with some of my background at, at IGT, where I was an executive researcher. So some of the work I did at IGT led us to looking at the future of casino gaming. And we did a lot of fantastic stuff over there, but it wasn't, it was very tightly held. So with Nanotech Gaming, it gave me the opportunity to kind of show some of these things to the rest of the world instead of keeping them so close to the vest. So we're really excited about the opportunity to engage with skill-based gambling and with the new laws in Senate Bill 9. It really opens up a whole new world in gambling opportunities and we're really excited about being at the leading edge of those opportunities. Even though you're a very small company. Absolutely. Uh, you are publicly traded. That's your correct. Your ticket symbol is? NTGL, Nanotech Gaming Labs is what we were pre previously called. We renamed it to Nanotech Gaming, but we got the NTGL when we still had Nanotech Gaming Labs. So NTGL is our ticker. We're a very small company. I think our market cap is somewhere between two and four million. It's really, really volatile right now since we're so new. Mark is trying to know what we're worth. We don't know what we're worth, but it's exciting. <laughs> uh, and even though you're so new and you're so small, you have a board and, and some uh, major exec uh, investors who've got a tremendous amount of industry experience behind them. That's a really exciting thing. So this actually just happened yesterday, but it, this is kind of a coincidence, but my college roommate, his name is Richard Baker. And Richard, you know, my first experience with Richard and his programming, I came home and I had a Tetris game I was working on. And it was like a, for my AI class, so it like had a self-playing mode to it. I came home one day and Richard was like programming on my Tetris game and he got it to where it could play all weekend. And I was like, wait, Richard, you're not even a programmer, but the guy's a genius. So I had an opportunity where I was working with Miyamoto on Piloting 64 for the Nintendo 64, and I was able to get Richard a job over there. He was there for just a couple of months, even without programming experience. Then he's a lead programmer on Beetle Adventure. Well, we got him on the board of directors now. And just an indication of this guy's genius, he he was he led a team of about 20 programmers to create the first game that grossed over a billion dollars, and that's Modern Warfare 2. So we're real, real fortunate to have him helping us lead us as we get into the growth and expansion stage of the company. Uh, so we're going to demonstrate one of your games okay. here in a minute. But uh, very quickly, could just give me uh, two or three more of your. Uh, board members or investors who people would recognize? Absolutely. We also have Alan D. Stone. Alan Stone was the CEO of Sega Enterprises. And you know, both of these guys, I guarantee you, I don't guarantee you, I would suggest that you probably never heard of them. They're both really, really modest. They wouldn't say these things about themselves, but Alan Stone was the guy, you know, he, he was uh, pivotal in the opening of Sega Gameworks and a lot of the Sega titles that were so popular in the, in the 90s. And we're really, we're really proud to have him as our executive CEO. I'm the president. Richard Baker is the uh, on the board of directors. And then we have two more folks. And that, that's the five people associated with the company, four of which are employees, and really three of which are doing all of the labor to get these games out there. We have a hard-hitting team with a really small head count. Really, really, really proud of everybody on our team. Okay, great. Aaron, thank you. We're going to take a break now. All right. We're going to come back, and we're going to let you uh, demonstrates your newest game too. Awesome, awesome. Thanks right. so much, Frank. Hi, I'm Aaron Hightower. I'm here to show you Casino Cat. This is the newest skill-based game we're offering from Nanotech Gaming. And as you can see, it's designed to be a maze-style game. We were inspired by the gameplay of coin-operated arcade games. We wanted to introduce a casual-style game 
that allowed you to play with one hand and you still have another hand to do something else like holding a microphone. The, the goal behind this game is to score the most points possible to improve your chance to win. Now, we've also guided in this thing, it's, it's kind of crazy. If you look down here, there's a 18 inch subwoofer. You can plug in your own music. You can, um, you can improve your chance to win with skill. So here I've got a bet of $400 to win 40. Oh my gosh, I almost lost it. That was really close. But you can change your bet and your win. I could pull down the $400 bet to $5 only looking to win five dollars and here you can see because the house edge is 75 percent i have a 38 percent chance to win skill isn't even involved at this level i'm going to play this real quick but let me tell you what's really fascinating about this game it's not just that we have skill-based gambling going on but the opportunity for an advantage and what that means is that the more you play you're not guaranteed to lose just because you flat bet it bet the same amount over and over and finally the volatility is gone this game allows you to come out ahead because of your skill at playing arcade games now all of these games are really simple to understand it's repetitive play that's going to help you get better but the real compelling element is that you can see your chance to win right here and that chance improves now, one little trick, if I hit a button here, I can actually see this little background. If I'm, an ex if I'm kind of a smart player, I know that that thing is gonna change the better I do. So I'm, I'm gonna intentionally lose here and show you how that when I increase the bet amount, I can have a better chance to win. Now, what's happening right here with these fruits, whenever this slot machine stops, the fruit comes out. I gotta die there and uh, when the fruits come out, I get more points from the higher valued fruits. I'm gonna bet a little bit more money though. I lost that one. And with more money, I have a better chance to win. And this shows me what different score is required to get what different payback. So as a player, and I know that I can get 14,000 points, I can expect 103% payback. This tells me my chance to win in the best score and the worst score, and I have complete control. So I could change my win amount up until I still have a 100% chance to win with the best score and go. Now, now I'm playing, and when I hit this first dot, you'll see the background change, boom. That reduced my chance to win, but now each point that I score increases my chance to win. That's generally how it works. This is the first skill-based game that actually monetizes my skill and turns my skill into money. It's a compelling mechanic that's designed to drive the bet denominations higher to increase both the casino's opportunity to make money while still giving the player the best value they can imagine while adding a skill-based component to a gambling experience. So that's Casino Cat, folks. I'm really pr proud to have presented it to you here at G2E 2015. Nanotech Gaming couldn't be more excited about the games we're making. And thanks so much for all the time you spent with us today. Really appreciate it. Thank you.